we call it dark matter because we can't see it. <laughs> and, but it reveals itself uh, through its gravitational interactions with ordinary matter, which is what we can observe with telescopes. When one piece of dark matter beats another piece of dark matter, they may annihilate each other and produce gamma rays. And so what we're going to look for are the gamma rays from that dark matter annihilation. If I, uh, you look at me in X-ray, I'm not like this. I'm in a skeleton. If you look at me in uh, red, uh, infrared rays, I am like a cloud. So visibility strictly depends on the wavelength, on the frequency we are observing. When you look up in the optical sky, it looks very quiescent and stable and nothing changing with time. When you look at the gamma ray sky, you realize that there are violent phenomena in the universe that evolve very quickly. Uh, gamma ray bursts being an example, something that uh, for a brief instant of time, you know, about a second, outshines the entire rest of the universe.